Welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. Reba here. Well, a year ago, I started to get into figs. And oh boy, have I gotten into figs. <clears throat> I have started so many fig cuttings this year. I can't even tell you how many. And most of them took over, I would say, 89% of them took. I did have a few losses, but that's okay. That's going to happen sometimes. And <clears throat> this variety, I wasn't too worried about how many I lost. My niece sent me these from her fig tree out of her, um, off of her property in Northern California, where we grew up in our hometown. And <clears throat> we don't know whether or not it is a common fig tree yet or not. And so I'm growing them up here in the Pacific Northwest in order to find out whether or not they are common or not. And so I do know that they bear fruit because some of the cuttings that she sent had fruit on them. So I know that they will bear fruit. Most likely next year, we'll probably see some fruit on these ones. Um, but she did send me photographs today from the parent tree of the fruit in the different stages of ripeness, mind you. So this will be really exciting. I'll include those at the end of the video so that you can see um, the different fruit at different stages and from the parent from the parent um, tree of these and so I grew up our family grew up across the street from this homestead that had this fig tree and you know I'm going to tell you my age I'm um, early 40s <clears throat> and um, the figs this fig tree has been there like since before I was born and so my family grew up there and they saw this fig tree there. We would ride horses and we would always collect fruit and all that off of, you know, fig trees and stuff around. Um, you would, it was not uncommon to ride your horse through the middle of an olive orchard where we live. And so, um, and it's not uncommon to see, mind you guys, fig trees in the center of an olive orchard. And the reason being I, I would, this is my, I'm assuming here, the reason probably why they had fig trees planted in the centers of olive orchards is so that the birds would be more attracted to the figs so that they don't eat the fruit of the olive trees. Because the olives are the prized possession in um, the olive capital of the world, the olive city, aka the other name um, for it is something else. So anyways... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so the olives are the prize in that town, but the hidden gems are these little olives. So I was thinking and I told my niece I wanted to give this a name and I had mentioned it on the fig forum and I got a little bit of flack. I'd never said it was a seedling. Um, somebody was like, oh no, here we go again. And somebody like, what's going on? And I had no idea there was all this drama. Seriously, you guys, I had no stinking clue that there was any kind of drama. There's my doggie, he's sleeping. I had no stinking clue. I'm working every, every week and I'm doing my job. I don't have time to, for, for the drama, okay? I was just excited to share. And they were right though. If you haven't if you haven't determined whether or not something is something that was planted or something is actually a seedling and if you really don't know you should be putting unknown with the name that you're giving the um the fig tree or the fig variety so i will definitely be adding the unk to the beginning of this name and it, we're going to call it the olive city gem so unknown unk olive city gem and uh, so that's what we're gonna go with. Um, looking at the photos, it doesn't look like any other fig that I've seen out there. And I've been looking at a lot of figs this last year. Tell, I tell you what, I've been looking at a lot. It looks like it's its own thing. It's possible it could have been a tree that came from Europe a long time ago. Um, because a lot of um, people in our town have Italian names. So it's very, very possible that this originally came from Italy um, someplace or anywhere it could have come from Spain or France or anywhere 
um, a lot of a lot of there's a lot of different varieties out there that people are coming across that were immigrants brought with them you know it was like their favorite fig tree where they grew up and it was just partial to them so they brought that love with them so it's very possible that this was a planted variety of something like that I'm just guessing here um, but I honestly believe it was something that was planted um, versus it being an actual seedling but I could be wrong it could be a seedling so and because those olive orchards have been there for a long time and um, so that's the name unknown olive city gym I'm sticking with it also my niece went out um, olive hunting today not olive hunting fig hunting <laughs> Um, I said all of city gym unknown. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I keep calling the fig trees olives. My bad. Um, so my niece went out and she got me some other cuttings from some fig trees in town and I'm excited to grow those. And when she was there, she said, aunt Becky, look, cause she had me the whole time you guys on video camera. And she showed me, um, this fig tree that was growing at the base of an olive tree and it wasn't right next to those other um fig trees that she was getting me cuttings from so i just instinctly said pull it up and see if it if it's a seedling or not see if it, it's attached to anything else and she pulled it up and it wasn't attached to a um to a runner root that fig trees normally can put off runner roots that put up suckers and it didn't have the um, the runner root attached with it. There was there was nothing like that. It's a seedling completely. So she had rinsed it all off when she got home. It's kind. Of, I, I think there's a chance that the tree may not make it because of this. Because she rinsed all the dirt off with the hose, so she could get good pictures of the root system. But I got the pictures anyways, and so the it it's the damage is done. I told her. Place it in the shade. Put, make sure you keep it moist. And um, uh, make sure you pack dirt around the, the root ball. And um, let's just hope for the best. So she's, she's doing that. And she's going to give me that seedling so that I can raise it. And there is a chance that it could be a mill. But there's also a chance that it could be... Um, it could be a common fig or it could be one that needs a fig wasp. So we'll just have to wait and see and time will tell. I'm thinking what I will end up doing at some point with it is take cuttings from it if it survives, of course. I'll take cuttings of it and I will put it onto um, some of my other vigorous growing root stalks that I have now. And then we will just go from there and see if it'll fruit sooner if it is a fruiting type. So we'll just wait and see you guys. So I'll keep you guys updated for sure on that. And I will be growing that out. At which case, since it is a seedling, for sure. And you guys will be able to tell. You'll be able to see from the photos that it is a seedling, in fact. That I will actually be able to give that one a name without the unknown attached to it. And I hope that it is a common one. And I hope that it is something really super yummy and tasty good. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Walter says, I love you. And my figs say, I love you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell button. As always, have a wonderful day, you guys. Grow what you love, love what you grow, and God bless you all. And stay tuned for those photos again. I'm going to do the mother tree. And it's fruit in the from the ripe stages for these ones here. And I'm also going to share, at the end of those, I'm going to share the seedling photos. So just check those out and God bless you all. Bye.